Buster in Airedale and I'm going to show you a nice easy way to just do a really simple pet head. Okay. Um, so the first thing we do is clip his ears on a 10. Right up to the top of that ear. Okay, we've done a 40 on the inside, so they're nice and clean. Then we trim around the ear. Upwards towards the tip. Stay there, Buster. Make sure those ears are nice and clean. Okay, now because we did him in a five, we're going to go one blade shorter. We're going to do a seven on top of the head. Um, so I'll pop a seven on my clippers. And we're going to clip from the brow bone here to the back of the head. To the end of the head. Not coming onto the body because the body was done in a five so it would be too short. So just right to the back of the head and up to the ears where we started clipping. Hold for the back of the head. When you're using a seven be careful of the ear that you don't catch it in the blade because it can go between the teeth. Then we're coming down the side of the head, finding that corner of eye, and taking that down the side. Right up to here. Clear all that hair. Have a look with that corner of the eye as you can put your thumb over it. Come straight down. Joining up to just behind the mouth. And then under the chin, hold all that hair up on top of the chin. And we're coming all the way to the canine tooth, securing all of that hair under the chin. So that he's just left with a goatee at the front. Same on the other side, turn the head. Down the head. Yeah. Find that corner of eye. Come straight down, just behind the mouth. Find the mouth that's about there. So come just behind that, and then under the chin. Again, right up to the canine teeth. I like to do this bit in reverse because it always does a bit of hair. Okay, so I've done that. Get a nice comb. Make sure we can comb through the whole thing. Good boy. It's really important when you're doing an Airedale or a long legged terrier or anything like um, that has this shaped face that you really blow dry the hair as straight as you can because there's no way that you can get a nice head unless this hair is really blow dried straight and you've got no curls in it. Okay, so now I'm going to make my life a little bit easier and rather than thinning that all out with scissors. I'm going to pop an orange or a peach comb attachment on top of my clippers. I'm going to hold the whole goatee in my hand, including the stuff that comes down from the top lips. Hold that head down, and I'm going to just use my orange comb attachment and just run it over that head. And especially if you've got a lot of coat on the dog, this is going to take the bulk of it off and save your hands from all that work trying to thin it out. Okay. 
the way forward, not catching what I've got in my hand. Okay, so once I've done that again, comb it forward and I can start by blending in where we stopped clipping. eyebrow, make sure there's nothing coming past the eye. Just take out lightly the corner of the eye, not too much, you don't want to take away all the stock. Mm -hmm. Slightly around that eyebrow. You can also lift that eyebrow up a little bit by just taking a little layer. Underneath. It's only a short eyebrow, so it shouldn't be too long. Forward, turn the other side. Same again, blend it in. Turn up that eyebrow. Take small layer from underneath just so it lifts up slightly into the corner come up and around fluff up that hair along the top Coming flat against the head, down to the nose. Just slightly clearing the eyes. You don't want to clear them too much because you don't want to have big hole so when you look down they should be slightly covered over. Then I like to just clear the top of the nose so it pops out. And when you fluff up that hair you shouldn't have anything that massively sticks out. If you do you can just thin it off. Looking at the dog piece five. Pull all that forward. Goatee needs a little bit of a trim. They like it quite long. Okay, and that's just a really easy pet trim on an Airedale.